On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make the easiest and most delicious smoked meatloaf. To start our meatloaf, we'll start with two pounds of ground beef. There are a lot of people that use 50-50 ground beef and ground pork, but for whatever reason, every time we're making smoked meatloaf, we really prefer to go 100% beef. Next up, we'll add half a diced onion, two cloves of garlic, one diced up jalapeno, one cup of breadcrumbs, half a cup of heavy cream, a fourth a cup of head country barbecue sauce, not one, but two eggs. And last but not least, we're adding eight ounces of our favorite cheese. Today we're using Monterey Jack with jalapenos in it. Now, typically I would like to use a high temp cheese, but today we didn't have any, so we're going with store-bought. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna shred this into our mixture because if you don't have the high temp cheese, if you cube it up a lot of the times, you'll get big holes inside of your meatloaf where the cheese actually completely melted and oozed out. We're gonna try and stop that from happening by adding shredded cheese here and just mixing it into our meatloaf. So we're just gonna go ahead and shred this up. Before we start mixing everything up, I'm gonna add a little bit of Southern Bell. This is our beef rub. I'll probably do around two tablespoons or so. We just wanna make sure we get a nice beefy flavor throughout our meatloaf. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix everything together. It's gonna be messy, don't be alarmed. Once we have everything nice and incorporated, we wanna put it into a bread pan that is lined with plastic wrap. This is gonna make it so much easier to get out here in just a little bit. I'll show you that when the time comes. So I just wanna flatten everything out a little bit, make sure it gets to all the corners in this bread pan. And that right there looks perfect to me. At this point, we want this to solidify just a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this inside and put it into the refrigerator for one hour while we get our smoker to temp. Now that we have the meatloaf resting in the refrigerator, we wanna get our charcoal lit. Today, I'm using my Weber kettle with the slow and sear attachment and I have it full with b, &B briquettes. I have two fire starters over here, so I'm just gonna get those lit. And now we just need to be patient and let this get to temp. It'll take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes and then we can put the meatloaf on here in just a bit. So it's been about an hour that our meatloaf has been in the refrigerator. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out. You can see that now it's in a nice log. That is our perfect shape. And like I was saying a little bit earlier, this makes it really easy for us to do that. Now, the last thing I wanna do before we get this on the smoker is I wanna hit this with a little bit of our barbecue rub. This is Southern Hospitality. It's gonna have some sweet notes to it and it's also gonna give it a really nice color. The last thing you'll notice is this mesh wire rack. We actually picked this up from HEB, but I like to use this on my competition briskets as well. It just helps me hold shape on stuff that I really wanna stay a good looking shape. And then also it makes it really easy to move this around on the grill. My kettle's dialed in right around 275 degrees, so I'm just gonna set this opposite of our slow and sear. Now, the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually put some wood chunks on here. So I'm not gonna need too much smoke flavor for this cook today, so I'm just gonna add a few chunks right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our meatloaf right opposite of the slow and sear. And I put a water pan in today just so I can control the moisture inside of my cooker. And I do wanna monitor the temps on this meatloaf, so I'm actually gonna use one of my Thermoworks dots I'm gonna put it right in the middle so we can make sure that we have an accurate reading here on the inside of our meatloaf. It's been around 45 minutes on our meatloaf and now I wanna check it to see if we need to rotate. The reason that I'm looking at that is because we are using the slow ones here so a half of the meatloaf is closer to the coals than the other. We're around 90 degrees internal on this smoked meatloaf and I told you guys a bit ago that this is gonna make it really easy to move this thing around. So I'm just gonna readjust my mesh wire here and we're just gonna keep cooking. Now we're sitting right at 145 degrees internal on our smoked meatloaf, and we wanna start putting some barbecue sauce on this. The reason I wanna start early is because I do wanna be able to pull it right at 155 degrees to make sure it carries over to around 160, and we don't overcook this. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of our favorite barbecue sauce all over top. Today we're using Head Country's Apple Habanero, and we're just gonna go ahead and brush this in. And that right there is absolutely perfect. We have a light layer of sauce. We're gonna let this cook to 155 degrees internal. And then we'll take it off, let it rest for a few minutes and slice it up. It's been right at two hours. My Thermalworks dot just told me that we hit 155 degrees internal on our smoked meatloaf, but I do wanna double check and verify. So I'm gonna use a Thermapin and you can see we're right there at 153. That's gonna be completely fine for me. I do always wanna make sure that I use a Thermapin just to verify that my dot or any other electronic that I'm using is right. In my opinion, this is one of the best tools that you could have for barbecue. We've been letting our meatloaf rest for around 10 minutes, so of course now it's time to take a bite. 
This was a pretty simple recipe, so I did want to go over just a few things on what we did. We didn't actually have to go through too much because we had the Weber kettle running around 275 to 300 degrees the whole time. Go ahead and take out any of the ingredients that you didn't like that I put in before. If you don't like jalapenos, you don't like onions, that's completely fine. You do want to make sure that you have those binding ingredients. So the breadcrumbs, the heavy cream, the eggs, those are pretty important for the meatloaf. Let's go ahead and start slicing. We're going to go right down the middle with our smoked meatloaf. I'm going to show you guys a cross section. And that right there looks so moist and it looks so delicious. I'm going to have to take a slice out of here. So we can, of course, get you a little bit closer look. If you look at that meatloaf, you can see plenty of moisture in there. You can see the onions, the jalapenos, the cheese is mixed right in and we don't have any pockets in. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Now it's time for us to take a bite of our delicious smoked meatloaf. This recipe, again, is super duper simple. Let's see how we did. Oh, you can see that cheese in there just a little bit. It's not too gooey, but you can taste it. You get the jalapenos that come through. Oh my gosh. You get the onions, you get the cheese. This recipe was actually requested by one of you guys. So we really appreciate you putting in the effort to ask us to cook certain things. If you have anything else you want us to cook, put it in the comments down below. As always, we really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.